بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم انٹرویو وتھ حضرت جی مولانا سعد احمد برکاتہ ہو آن 21 اپریل 2020 فیو ٹیسٹڈ پازیٹو ڈز دیٹ میک اس ریسپانسبل فار کووڈ میرٹ دا چیف دا تبلیغی جماعت مولانا سعد ٹیلس ایس راجو ان این انٹرویو تھرو ہز لائر دیٹ ہی از ولنگ ٹو کوآپریٹ وتھ دا پولیس اینڈ دیٹ نو انلیگل ایکٹیویٹی ٹوک پلیس ایٹ دا مرکز بلڈنگ وچ از دا بگٹ کووڈ 19 ہاٹ اسپاٹ ان انڈیا ایڈیٹڈ ایگزربس question is it true that you organized ijtima without permission answer do not confuse ijtima with normal day to day activities and religious programs held in markaz nizamuddin ijtima is generally a large congregation which is held in open public spaces for which proper permissions are taken from the concerned authorities markaz nizamuddin is basically a masjid namely bangle wali masjid where normal religious sermons are given on a daily basis throughout the year being a masjid i don't think there is any requirement to seek permission to give sermons or to have other religious discourses within the building question is it true that you are not supporting the police investigation answer that is completely misplaced We have always maintained that it is necessary to cooperate in every manner with the authorities that has been a history of a hundred years it is out of question that there would be no support to the investigation authorities so far whatever notices we have received from delhi police have been duly replied to question why are you silent about the accusations against you answer As advised by doctors i was in self quarantine with the police aware of the facts and my whereabouts We are not experts of social media or the optics of building a narrative so it may not have reached all but I immediately addressed the bligh members wherever they are to come forward and cooperate with authorities in the measures they are taking to eliminate the covid risk whether it's quarantine isolation or testing question what about the alleged unaccounted foreign funding to the jamaat enforcement directorate has registered a case against you in this regard answer This is completely baseless and false. We take pride in the fact that no illegal activity has ever happened at Markaz and we shall always keep it that way. We are yet to receive any notice in this regard. All such accusations exist only in the media. I am sure that I will be able to give a satisfactory explanation for any such accusation, but for that I should first be aware of what is the allegation if any. question some foreign jamaatis are charged of violation of visa regulations because they traveled on tourist visas why did the markaz allow it to happen answer people have been coming to our countries in this manner for decades with the same set of permissions and the authorities have never pointed this out as an issue we always report the presence of foreigners in markaz nizamuddin to police authorities this has been the practice of decades In my limited understanding I failed to see how it would amount to a violation of the visa rule Markaz neither invites any foreigner nor does it sponsor any visa for foreigners Question is the Markaz responsible for the spread of the disease in India Answer it's unfortunate that a few members have tested covid positive but an overwhelming majority of tablighi jamaat members have tested negative too Does that make Markaz responsible for the disease You must also constantly ask this question to yourself when was the first covid case reported in india and what actions were taken how many other places saw much larger gatherings during late february and all throughout march and can they be held responsible for disease question you know about covid why did you not cancel the event answer there was a pre scheduled event in march for which participants had started arriving from far off places till late february and even middle march everything was going on as normal as soon as the janta curfew took place we discontinued the programs and evacuated the participants question several muslim leaders are demanding a ban on the jamaat answer i don't know about any such demand i would like to say that i have been informed that in some cases were patients who have tested positive for covid-19 and have since recovered their plasma can be used for treatment i urge my friends from tablighi jamaat who have been successfully treated to donate their plasma to patients of any caste or religion who are still fighting this disease